Hey everyone, it's David with davidspassage.com. Today we're going to find out just how sharp you can get your Mora Bushcraft Black knife and can you get it sharp with one of these cheap diamond sharpeners. <laughs> Stick around. So if, if you've been following my channel for any length of time, you know that I really love uh, this knife, this Mora Bushcraft Black knife. You know, and I've got some other knives that I, I like too, but what I really like about the Mora Bushcraft Black is just so versatile, you know, and it's not super heavy duty, you know, so it's very comfortable uh, in a backpacking situation. You're not weighing down your pack and that sort of thing. It's got a Scandi grind, which I really like for bushcraft and whittling and that sort of thing. But I've been beating this thing up for quite a while now, over the last few weeks, just doing all kinds of carving projects and things in my backyard, that sort of thing. So I wanted to find out just how sharp I can get it. You know, and I want to use one of these things. I, you know, I've had this thing for a few years, so I know it's going to get this sharp, but I want to sort of demonstrate. This is just sort of a cheap Smith's diamond sharpener. If you want to pick one of these up, there's going to be a link in the description, but it's got two sides to it. And these are, are covered with just some really microscopic industrial strength diamonds. So the idea of the sharpener is you sort of take it out, put it in the butt, and you know, you're ready to, ready to sharpen your knife. Now, I'm not a professional knife sharpener. If I, if I do some kind of sharpening heresy, <laughs> You know, feel free to leave a comment below. Be nice if you can, but leave a comment below. I'm not a knife sharpening expert, I don't claim to be, but I'm just gonna show you what works for me. So first thing I'm gonna do, I've got a lot of gunk on this knife, and so what I'm gonna do is take, just taking some Windex and uh, putting it on there, because there's a lot of sort of this gunky stuff on here. I'm gonna clean that off, just being really careful, because even though um, it's not sharp, it's not as sharp as it once was, it's still really sharp. What's nice about using Windex as a solvent to clean some of this up is that it just gets any kind of uh, residue, you know, especially if you're, if you use this for things like, like fat wood, you know, if you're going to be cutting up a bunch of fat wood, that residue from the fat wood is going to build up on the knife. And so, all right, now we're going to go over to my fly desk and sort of finish the rest because I'm going to get you really up close and personal with this thing here in a second. All right. So <laughs> welcome to my fly desk. Um, one of those fun winter things, you know, when you, when you can't get out on the river because they're frozen, you tie a bunch of flies and kind of keep them safe for uh, next season. Anyways, the reason why I wanted to come here to show you my knife and to show you how to sharpen it, uh, show you how to sharpen this knife, because this beautiful thing right here, this is a super magnifying glass that I use to, uh, to tie my flies with when I'm tying small midges and that sort of thing. And hopefully you can see, you know, that's going to get us really up close and personal the action here. Before I get too much into this, I just want to give a little primer on how I plan to sharpen this thing. And first of all, what, what I like to do is I like to take my knife, you know, and with this, with the more bushcraft black, it's really easy. You can set it right flat on there and take my finger and roll the knife forward because it's a Scandi. What's nice about that, it's, it's easy to sharpen because you can feel when that flat edge, when I rotate that up, how that flat edge comes in contact with that diamond rod. I'm going to start with the coarse side, finding my edge by just putting the knife on there and rolling it up. You know, another way you can do it is to look down the diamond rod and find out when you fail to see the shadow underneath the knife blade edge there. And what I'm going to do is take it, find my edge, roll it up, find my edge, and then just sort of bring it across like this, making sure that knife edge stays in contact and flat with the diamond rod or the diamond stone. And then I'll do the same on the other side, coming back, I'll do a few strokes of that. And then I'll do a few more strokes, roll the knife edge towards me, you know, check and make sure there's no shadow under, under the blade there. Draw that knife to me, maintaining contact with the diamond stone edge, and then uh, making sure the knife hits it like that. Here's where I want to begin to have a little bit of fun with you. This is something really cool. Get my light in place here. All right, now we are in the fly scope <laughs> on my fly desk. And I uh, just want to show you just how beat up this knife is. Yeah, I'm looking at it this close. I realize I didn't do a very good job of sharpening it even last time. But just to give you an idea of what these are going to kind of look like. Kind of look at how nasty that blade looks. And uh, hopefully if we do a good enough job, we'll get that thing really, really polished up and sharp when we're done with it. All right, so we're pretty close to this thing. 
you can see again, the blade's in pretty rough shape. Just put my blade on flat there, rolling it forward. You know, see that little shadow's kind of disappearing. And then I'm gonna pull that knife and bring it up across the diamond surface. Another thing I can kind of see, you know, just by giving it some contrast is when you look at the edge, you know, I can see some spots right in there. Definitely needs some work. And even a spot down here. Sort of looking at the other side, I can kind of see some spots too I need to work on. <laughs> the whole blade needs work. The side of the stone with the yellow plastic insert, that's the coarse side. And then on the other side, there's an orange side. And it says right at the top, you know, fine and coarse. So pretty easy to get. You start with the coarse, you know, I'll do several strokes on each way. And then I'll flip it over several more strokes, kind of check the blade out, see how it's coming and do the paper test, good old paper test and go from there. One thing I like to do too is keep it even, you know, however many times you go this way, make sure you go the same amount of times that way. So like one, two, three, four, come back one, two, three, four. When I come to the tip, this is a drop point knife. So when I, when I come to the tip, you know, I'm gonna, I'm lifting my elbow just a little bit so that the scandy edge maintains itself on that flat diamond surface. The principle here is to keep that scandy edge flat against the diamond surface, you know, all the way to the tip. And so you gotta kind of lift your knife just a hair in order to do that sometimes, especially on these small ones. And so now that we've done the coarse side for a while, it's time to flip it over and stroke it on the fine. I can already tell the blade's cleaning up quite nice. Same sort of principle. Maintain that edge all the way to the tip. Same side, same number of strokes on each side. One of the neat things about these sort of diamond stones is they sort of build up, you know, without using water or anything like that, they kind of build up their own slurry of material. And, and you could see, there's some fine, fine metal shavings on my finger. And you know what? Just by, you know, doing this sort of thing, I get it pretty sharp. Sort of the, the litmus test, if you will, you know, of, of how to sharpen knives is how easy it's gonna, it's gonna cut paper. And as you can see, cuts paper pretty good. Even just using the Smiths, it cuts pretty good so far. But we're gonna take it a step further now. I'm gonna strap it with my belt. This'll really get it hair popping sharp, if you will. I'm gonna actually just put my toe through the loop there, hold it taut. I'm gonna take my knife and, and I'm just, again, finding that angle, finding that angle, tilting that up, finding that angle, and drawing that off. What happens is there's a little burr that kind of gets developed, really kind of a microscopic burr that gets developed on there. And uh, just come back and forth like this. And I don't wanna roll the edge you know, I don't want to roll the edge like that. But what I'm going to do is just kind of bring the knife up at the end here. I'm not putting much pressure on it either. This is just to sort of finish off the blade. And you don't want to cut like this. You're going to cut right through your belt. But I'm going to keep that kind of stiff. Hold it nice and tight. Now let's take another look at that edge. I don't know if you can see that or not. That's, that is night and day from what it was. Now, this close up, you know, you see all them scratches. That's from the uh, the diamond stone. But this close up, I can already tell it is a lot better. That's a lot better. Now, how sharp is it? Well.
That's pretty sharp if you ask me, you know, make those curls like that. Now that is wicked sharp. One of the things that I'll do too is I'll, sometimes I'll take the knife and just sort of, I'll drag it across here, you know, and uh, find little spots. If it's not a smooth cut all along the blade edge, you know, sometimes it'll tell me, you know, whether or not there's little spots along here that I need to do some work on, but I don't know if you can see this or not, but. One of the things people like to see is a good old arm hair test, and you can kind of see here, that arm hair is just coming right off. Probably shave my beard with this this knife. Man, for a cheap diamond sharpener, this one works really well. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I really, really just want to say thank you. I really appreciate your comments, your support, your connections. You know, the things are just really taking off for the channel, and I'm just glad that you guys can be a part of it. And um, 2015 is going to be a pretty awesome year, I have a feeling. If you haven't done so yet, please hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already done so. Share the video and uh, leave a comment below, especially if you, maybe you have a better system. <laughs> you know, or maybe you know something that's cheaper than this that works equally well. I don't know. Um, I'd love to hear about it. Like, you know, how do you sharpen your knives? You know, just like leave a comment below and otherwise we'll see you in the next video. Take care.